Lassie Come Home is the story of a dog, but it's also the story of a people, as strong and enduring in peace as they are in war. The people of Yorkshire, the county of Eric Knight's birth and boyhood. This man is a Yorkshireman, Sam Caraclough, and his dog, Lassie. Lassie is Sam's only saleable possession in the dark pre-war days of unemployment, empty pockets, and the dole. Hello, Sam. You here, too? Hello, Tom. Marlon? Hello, Sam. Hello, Lassie. Good day to you, my girl. She looks champion, Sam. Tell the truth, Tom. Have you ever seen anything better? No. I was only talking to my Mrs. To the night, Sam. That's just what I said to her. I said if ever there was a better dog in all Yorkshire than Sam Caraclough's Lassie, I said then she must have died before ever I was born. That's what I said. <laughs> She's in pretty fair shape, she is. But I do believe her coat could be a wee bit shinier. You know, Sam, they do say that cod liver oil is good to make a dog's coat shiny. Some of these fancy breeders give it to their dogs pretty regular. Uh, if we could afford cod liver oil for our dogs, Perhaps we could get ourselves a little bit of beef once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's Joe she's thinking of at school. Has she ever been late, Sam? Never. There seems to be something inside her telling her when it's time. Well, go along then. yourself to your lessons, lad. the Duke today, Sam? Aye. He'll be by tomorrow. Here you are.
Downstairs. Come on, downstairs. your work? Oh, no, no, lad, it's not that. But whatever trouble comes, remember, we've got to be men together. Do you see? Aye, Father. Well, make haste now. You'll be late for school. Come. Caraclough. She's a beauty. She's just come back from seeing my lad to school, sir. Fifteen guineas. Wasn't that the price you said? Yes, sir. Oh. Well, I got the best of it, Caraclough. I am an honest man, so I, I got to tell you I got the best of it. Are you quite sure that you want to sell her? No, Your Grace. I have to. Well, it's a fair price. Hines, put that collar on her and lead her from the back of the car. Yes, sir. I'll get a move on. Mrs. Caraclough. Good day, Caraclough. All right. All right, Roger. Happen we should be telling Joe. He'll be finding this out for himself. know it right off. Lassie won't be waiting for you at school anymore. Why not? What's happened? Because she's sold. That's why not. Sold? Sold? Why did you sell her? Lassie, why did you sell her? 
Now she's sold and gone and done with it. Let's say no more about well, it. Now, no more. Sit down and have your tea. Go along. Sam, come and eat. Now look what you've done. Got the father all angry. I suppose you're happy now. Come on, Joe. Eat up. I don't want any. Dogs. Dogs? If you ask me, I'm glad Lassie's gone. Fat I am. More trouble to take care of than a child. Now it's done, I'm glad. I'm glad that I am. <sighs> Come here, Joe. Look, Joe. You're getting to be a big lad now, and you can understand. Lassie cost a lot of money to feed, and we've got to have food on the table. We've got to pay the rent, and. Well, we, we just couldn't afford it. And that's all. And if these are poor times, Joan, you mustn't upset your father. He's worried enough as it is, and... Well, that's all. She's gone. Couldn't we buy her back someday? <laughs> No, Joan. No. Lassie was a very valuable dog. Much too much for us. <laughs> but we'll get another dog someday. Just wait. Times might pick up and we'll get another tyke. He'd like that, wouldn't you? I don't want any. <laughs> No good. Country's going to pot. Nonsense. What's that? I said nonsense. I thought that's what you said. Fine state the world's in when the only person with courage enough to answer me back is my own granddaughter. That's because you're like me, my dear. <laughs> well, I'm glad you turned up. I want to show you my new dog. Finest collie I ever set eyes on. I've been after her for, for three years. Three years? Yeah, three years. Last year I offered the fellow 15 guineas for her. Told him it was my rock bottom limit. He didn't seem to think so. Held out for another six months, and then the other day, he told me he'd take it. Was she worth waiting for all that time? Who oh, worth it? You never saw another one as good. Look at her. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh. Collie. Collie. She doesn't seem well, Grandfather. Nonsense. Nothing wrong with the dog. Nothing at all. Hines! Where on earth's that idiot hiding? Hines! Come in, Grace. Come in. Yes, sir. You call me, sir? Hines, what's the matter with that dog? She looks a bit off colour. Well, sir, they spoil them in them there cottages. Feed them with a silver spoon, as you might say. But I'll see she gets over it, sir. She'll take her food kennel away in a few days. Well, you keep an eye on her, Hines. You keep an eye on that dog. Yes, sir, I will, sir. You better. If you don't, I'll, I'll tan your hide, my lad. That's what I'll do. Yes, Your Grace. Come along, Charles. I'll see you eat before I'm through with you. I'll see you eat if I have to shove it down your throat.
coming out of school and there she was, waiting for me right where she always is. I could see she was lonely for us, all of us, so I thought... No. I... But, Mother, she's come home. We could hide her, we could say... No. Now, get her out of here. Oh, you know it will have that Heinz around here. That know-it-all Heinz. that she's happy to be home. Just pat her. You know, happen they don't know how to care for her right up at the kennels. I wonder if they understand how to feed her properly. The men in this village think more of their tykes than they do of their own flesh and blood. But truly, Mother, she does look thin. I do believe they're not feeding her right. But that, I wouldn't put it past that Mr. Know-it-all Hines to steal the best part of the dog meat for himself. Bad gum. She does look a bit poorly. I'd better get her a little summit. She could do with it, or I don't know dogs. But the minute she's fed, back she goes. That's no way to do it, lad. If they're going to do a job, learn to do it right. Here. Sit there. In. Now, Sam, that's enough brushing. Let her eat her food and take her back to where she belongs. Well, you wouldn't have me take her back looking like a mucky Monday wash, would you? Look, Sam, if you don't hurry her back soon, that man hides. Ah. I thought so. I thought as how I'd find her here. I was just cleaning her up a bit and then I were off to bring her back. Yes, I bet you was. Well, it so happens I'll take her back myself. Seeing as how I happen to uh, drop in, as you might say. I wasn't born yesterday. I know all about you Yorkshiremen and your come-home dogs. Training them to run straight back home when they're sold so you can sell them to someone else. Well, it won't work with me, it won't. Cos I know a trick or two myself, I do. And, well, good evening. I won't have him walking in here and keeping his hat on as if he's the very duke himself. And all on account of a dog. Well, she's gone. And if you ask me, good riddance. Now, happen we can have a little peace. I hope I never see her again. I do that. Don't get out now, my lady. Not if I know anything.
come on. Now I'm on. Where is she? So that's why he's not home. I... They're together. Him and Lassie. She's got away again. He's run away with her so that we can't take her back. Come now, lass, don't thee worry. The lad will not have gone far. I think I know where he'll be. I'll be off to find her. Come on now, where's that there dog of mine? Take thy hat off. Now don't you start no trouble. You better not start no trouble now. Get along home with you. The dog will be there as soon as I can find her. I can run errands for the butcher. And he'll give me scraps of meat for you. And perhaps even a bone. And then we'll never have to go home. The Duke will never find you. And we can always be together. Joe. Come on, lad. Me? Yes. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Who are those people, Grandfather? Caraclough, what are you doing with my dog? It's Lassie, sir. I'm not blind, my good man, but what are you doing with her? Well, she's run away again, and I'm bringing her back. What? Huh? Again? Has she run away before? Well, I'm bringing her back again, sir. Hines! Hines! She's coming, Your Grace, coming. Has this dog ever run away before? Well, sir, it's this way. Well, sir. did she or didn't she? In a way, sir, she did. She dug her way out. I didn't want to disturb Your Grace about her, and I'll jolly well see she don't get away again, sir. I'll see you that. Yes, you'd better. You're an idiot, Hines. I'm beginning to think you're not a nincompoop. Pen her up, man. If she gets out again, well, you can get out, too. Thank you, Caraclough, for bringing her back. Yes, sir. I'll pen her up. And if she ever tries to get away, here. I brought my lad with me the day to pen her up. It's him she runs home to see. He'll pen her up and bid her stay. Now, I'm sorry I didn't notice I was stepping on thy foot. Well, the kennels are over here. Come along, Joe, lad. Come on now, get in with you. Come along, Lassie, get inside here. Come, Come on. on. Come along now, lad. Get it over with, bid her stay, and tell her she can't be coming home no more. happy lassie don't come home no more don't run away no more because that doesn't belong to us anymore we're not allowed to see the ever you've got a nice place here so don't plague us by coming running home stay here and leave us be don't ever come home again too much about Lassie. I'll take care of her. Really, I will. I'll take care of her for you. So you won't have to worry any at all. There's nothing much you can do with these fine kennels and a special man in order to take care of her. But there must be something I can do. Isn't there now? Well, when a goat gets a little dull, 
You might try straining the water through some linseed. That picks her up a bit. I will. Is there anything else? Well... Come along, Joe, lad. Come. Well, it isn't good for her to be shut up in that cage all the time. Lassie likes a good walk, Lassie does. She needs the exercise. Thank you. Thank you very much. Poor Lassie. Joe, a father can't get truly angry at his own lad. Never. It's just that he wants you to understand how things are. And you mustn't think we're too hard on thee. We don't want to be. It's just that, well, back of it all, Joe, a chap's got to be honest. Never thee forget it all thy entire life. And there's a funny thing about honesty. There's no two ways about it. There's only one way about it. Honest is honest. Do you see? It's about Lassie you're talking. Joe, when you've sold a chap something, and you've taken his brass, and you've spent it, well, then done's done. Lassie was sold, and that's all. But we always fed her before. Yeah, before I was working. And you can't feed a dog on the dole, and you can't feed a family on it, either. No, Joe, Lassie's better off. Maybe she'll get away. No, lad, nah. The Duke's taken her off to Scotland. Scotland? Eh. Yeah. Her and half a dozen other likely show dogs. And as soon as the shows are over, she's to go back to Scotland. And she's never to come to Yorkshire anymore. Get it up. Keep it up, I say. Good morning, Your Grace, Miss Priscilla. Hello? How is she, huh? Oh, looking better, Your Grace. I think it must be this here Scottish air. It seems to agree with her all right. Her coat could be shinier. Looks a little dull to me. I think if you try straining her water through some linseed, it would make her look better. Linseed, Miss Priscilla. My dear, how did you know about that? I just happened to know, that's all. Somebody told me, once. It's an old Yorkshireman's trick, and a very good one. You better try it, Hines. Yes, sir. Oh, come along, child, come along. Can't keep the horses waiting all day. Linseed, yeah. Keep your head up. Keep it up, will you? Matter, child. Lassie, she's chained, Grandfather. She needs exercise, and she can't get it that way. Hines! Hines! Come in, your grace, come in. Hines, what's that dog doing on a chain? 
Well, sir, I had to do it. Every afternoon, sir, she tears and scratches at a pen and, and she might do herself an injury. And you told me to be sure not let her escape again, sir. I never said put her on a chain. No dog of mine goes on a chain, understand that. That dog needs exercise. But, sir, if I let her Well, freak... put her on a leash and walk with her yourself, you lazy idiot. I want that dog in perfect condition. Yes, Your Grace. Never mind what yes, Your Grace, do as you're told. Come along, child. So, you have to have a walk, do you, my lady? Well, I'll walk you. Oh, more than walk you. Come on, come on. I suppose you'd like to have me late for me tea. Come on. Hurry up, will you? You're always hanging behind. Come on, will you? Here, here, what's the matter? Down, down. Do as I tell you, can't you? I'll break your bastard neck if you don't behave yourself. Go on. Nice dog. Don't you move. Now, stay there. Stay there, Lassie. Here. Here. Nice girl. Stay there now. Don't you move. Now, come on. Come on, Lassie. That's a nice dog. Here. Come on. Here. Lassie, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Lassie. Come here. Come here. If I ever get my hands on you, my lady, you'll never get away again, I'll tell you. Exercise, exercise. That's what I'd get for walking you. Let her go. That's what she's done. She's let her go. She's going towards South, Grandfather. She's going towards Yorkshire. By Joe, child, I believe you're right.
Bernard, let's fly. I cannot do it. It does not look like one of they devils to me. Oh, it's a stray. You've got a right to shoot. Well, let's see whether it gangs near the sheep first. If it does... Oh, shoot it! There. It's seen us. Let him have it. I had it. You didn't let it go. Go on, Get him sick. Satan. Unless I'm mistaken, Andrew, there goes your Satan now. No, Jock. No, shoot. Rush, man, why did you no shoot? Well, you were a brave dog, and you were going somewhere. And besides, I couldn't have shoot for I forgot to load up again. Forget? I should think a soldier never forget to load up again after he's fired? Well, laddie, you see, we have so many things to remember. Wonderful the things they have nowadays. There were no pencils when I were a lad. We had only slates. Morning, Father. Morning, Mother. Many happy returns, Joe. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. Bless thee, lad. Joe, we've got a surprise for thee, lad. You can have three guesses. Lassie! Just this. Mother, it's champion. Thank you. Thank you, Father. It's champion.
Stand, don't you hear something? Huh? Down with the chickens. The door of the chicken coop's a bit loose. <laughs> if I weren't so lazy, I'd have fixed it long since. There again. There is something. If you won't go and see who's after your chickens, Daniel Fadden, I will. No, 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 sit you down. If you want me to go, I'll go. I'll look around, or you won't be sleeping tonight. Oh. <laughs> things just from habit. In America now, they say that they always drink their tea without milk. <laughs> That's because they haven't learned any better. <laughs> do you know, Dally, I do believe she swam the river. Swam the river? Whatever makes you think that? I saw her draggly trail all through the mud. It came from the river. Did you swim the river, girl? Did you swim all that way to get from Scotland into England? Dan. Hmm? She doesn't seem to be swallowing. What? Do you think she's dying? I don't know, Tally. The best thing we can do is just to let her be. Dan. Hmm? I think I'll sit up with her tonight. Now, Dally, you've done your best. But she might need some help. She's such a bonny dog, Dan. Such a bonny dog. seems to have lost her. Then she's ours. <laughs> Dan, you're ours, Ken. We've given them their chance, Dan. Now she's ours. Well, now, Dally, they might pass by chance and see her. So don't you She's think... ours now, Dan. And I'm keeping her in the house or locking her in the back garden <laughs> and not letting anyone see her. How about the owner? If it hadn't been for us, she'd have been dead now. We're her owners. What's the matter, girl? Now, girl, you don't want to go out again. Come back here and lie down. Better put the kettle on.
What's wrong with you, Gary? You've been out for a nice walk with me on a string. Surely you can lie down now. I think you're daft. I tell you, she's not happy here. Nonsense. Every time she winks an eyebrow, you think she's got the measles or the plague or I don't know what. There, now, you see, she's all right. But every afternoon it's the same. Mm -hmm. She's not happy here. Dan, do you know what I think? What? I think she's sorry for us. So she just puts up with us. Like she's... Too polite to run unless we tell her to go. Uh, now, Nelly, no dog can be full of things like that. Like human things. My herself can. You don't know her, Dan. You see, Dan, I know about this dog. I know something. What? She's going somewhere. She's on her way. Oh, now, woman, what fences are you building up in your mind? No, I don't care. I know. Me and herself. We both know. She just stopped here, like at a hospital or a wayside inn. But now, she wants to be on her way. Only, she's too polite and understanding. She doesn't want to hurt us. All right, Nelly. If at four o'clock she makes up her mind to go, then all right. I believe it was a flea. There were no fleas in herself, I'd have you know. Then, dog. If you must go, away with you. <coughs> Goodbye, herself. Goodbye. Good luck. I'll put a lamp in the window, Danny, for tonight. Like, perchance, she's just gone for a long run. That I dwelt in marble halls with vassals and serfs by my side. And of all those assembled within those walls, that I was the hope and the pride. <laughs> Toots! Come 
Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Gil. Thank you. <laughs> there. You know, in many ways, Toots, you're better than a wife. You're neat, you're clean, and when you're around, a man gets no back chat. Well, we best be going. Smelt food, eh? Well, there's plenty for all of us, isn't there, Toots? Here, come on. Come on. Come on, then. Eee, you're frightened. I won't hurt you. Well, I'll leave food here for you. You can eat it up at your leisure. Aye. Now, take food from her, mind mm. Still, perhaps we can make friends with her, eh, Toots? Mm. What do you say? Eh? What do you say? <laughs> What's that old proverb? A friend in need is a friend indeed, eh? Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> She'll be friendly like when she smells this. Won't she, Toots, eh? You bet she will. Get up, Storgy. Get up, then. There's a type that's shy and canny, but I think she's coming near. Aye, she may be fearful, canny, but we'll overcome her fear. I, she may be fearful, canny, but we'll overcome her fear. Whoa, Stucky, whoa! They don't want to go this way, Toots. Sitting there like a graven image, she is. He looks like she wants to take to the road. And what would you do if a friend of yours wanted to take to the road, eh? Aye, that's right. Aye. I can just as well go round God see his bum in. Didn't I say we knew a thing or two about tykes, eh, Toots? Throw meat on the road and it's no go. 
She's a lady, Toots. And I'll only be eating out of bowls. <laughs> Not like you and me. <laughs> I'm afraid we'll have to mend our table manners, Toots. Here's a few more words you can mark down, Toots. Before the end of the week, she'll be helping us in our act. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on then. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Come on along, girl. Come on. Farmer, I come here every year and I feel that, feel a bit of it. A couple of bob, lady, to you. A couple of bob and cheap at the price. How much is a bob, it? a bob, T for two for a bob. Here, stepped on by elephants. <laughs> <laughs> yes, kicked by hippopotami. <laughs> e, 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 it's that strong you couldn't break it with an axe. <laughs> when does Tush do her tricks, Mr. Palmer? Why, immediately, my little love, immediately. Now make way there, will you? Give the dog a bit of room. Let the dog see the rabbit immediately. Toots will come out and Toots will surprise you. <laughs> there, that's right, that's right. There. There. One, two, three, four. Hurry, right, Toots. <laughs> Why, hurry, right, Toots, you can begin now. Why, what's the matter, eh? Oh, <laughs> you're waiting for someone, eh? <laughs> Her Majesty hasn't arrived for command performance, is that it, eh? Why, here she comes now. Oh. Now, Toots, go and pick up Blue Ring. little dogs would go through this hoop, but you could, couldn't you, Toots? Hey, come on. Come on, then. Come on. Now, Toots, how about a nice ride on ball? Royalty to perform, would ye, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you like to do some work, Bill? Would you like to pick up these things? Pick up these things! <laughs> May it please your majesty, as a favor to me, will you please pick up the things? remember to say please and you get more in this world. <laughs> well, thank you, ladies. Goodbye, one and all. Show's over. I'll be back again next year. Hey, Glenn! I love that he broke me pot! <laughs> Doing all right, ain't he? Not half he ain't. Don't forget, money back is not satisfied the nose. <laughs> There's a good dog. <laughs> Hey, there. There. <laughs> I think she'll be an addition to our act, don't you, Toots? Hey. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, come on, come on. Come on, that's a girl. There, you've been good dogs. Go and play. You did a good show today. Excuse me, my lady. I forgot. Pardon me, Your Majesty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, she's a fine dog, Toots, but she'll never be as smart as thee, my sweetheart. Eh? <laughs> Mucky weather, eh, if I know it. Smells like winter to me, Toots. There's the smell of snow. Ah, well, we'll be getting home soon. There'll be a warm fire in the hearth waiting us. <laughs> and roasting chestnuts, and a good bone for you, and maybe a nip or two or something invigorating for me. Just spare two homeless chaps what's looking for work a couple of swallows to warm them up. Huh. No, you don't. Come on up. Where is it? And if you're nice and hands it over without any trouble, we won't even hurt you, will we, Snickers? Of course not, Buckles. We won't so much as touch you. That's right. But if you're looking for trouble, we'll let you have it. Come on, where is it? You'll just give me time. I'll hand it right over to you.
you were a good one. Weren't you? You were a good one. Stock's low, and I must be getting back home for winter. Besides, you'd never really fit in with me like Toots did, and you'd always be reminding me of her. Not that you haven't been a good dog. <laughs> Aye. You understand a lot, don't you? Well, forgive me. At first, I thought you were a coward, but it's not that. Nay, there's somewhat else about thee, my lass. And I'd dearly love to be inside thy mind and know what it is. Mm. That's the pity of it. You can understand some of man's language, but man isn't bright enough to understand thine. And yet it's us that's supposed to be the most intelligent. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think you didn't come along with me as much as you let me come along with you. As long as our roads lay together. And now, well, <laughs> you'll be off about whatever business it is you're on. I'll be lonely. No thee, and no toots. But then I always did say, if a man doesn't like to be alone, he shouldn't never pick the job of traveling better. That's goodbye, eh? Well, may look go with thee. Off you go. On you go, then. And good luck. <coughs> Thank you. 
look, Sam. No luck. <coughs> and a hole in my right shoe for my pains. I must have worked 20 miles today. No work, they say. And hundreds out of work like you. Do you know what Joe says? You? Aye. He says Lassie took our luck. He does say that when Lassie were home, things were better. There's no luck about it. When a man wants work and can't get it, a summit more than luck. I know, I know. There's no sense to it. I was just saying what Joe said. He's a good lad, Sam. He is a good lad. from Scotland. Poor, poor dog. She must have traveled hundreds of miles. Aye. You'd better get her a little milk. There isn't any milk, Sam. There's just a little bit of stew for supper. Well, is it too good for her? No, of course not. I kept it for her, Sam. I don't know why. hasn't eaten for so long she can't. Well, we've got to scrape up enough somewhere for a little milk. Come on up. Shan't be long, Rogers. Sam, it's the Duke. He must have heard. He'll not have her. What shall we do? lad and our home as bad as this, then here she shall stay. Good day, Mrs. Carriter. Uh, good day, Your Grace, sir. Won't you come in? Oh, thank you. Come along, Priscilla. Good day, Your Carriter. Good day, sir. All right, all right, my dear chap. Uh, Mrs. Carriter, this is my little granddaughter, Priscilla. How do you do, How do you do child? And this is Mr. Carriter. How do you do, Mr. Carriter, about my dog. Dog, sir? Yes, Lassie. She got away, Caracoff. Oh. Well, that's too bad, sir. Isn't it, Helen? It is a pity, indeed. Hey. I thought there was a chance, very slight, that she... We haven't set eyes on her, sir. No, sir. We'll be lucky if we ever get another dog like her. Yes, sir, indeed we will. She was a fine dog. By the way, Caracla, are you working? Working, sir? Yes, a job, do you understand? Well, now, it's like this. Uh, if... Not exactly, sir. There are three or four things he's been considering, but he hasn't quite said yes or no to any of them yet. Oh, really? Well, you better say no and say it quickly. I need a follow-up at my kennels, and I think, Caracla, that, that you're the very fellow for the job. I, sir? I, to get paid for working with dogs? Well, will you, will you take the job? Well, you see, I... Of course he will, sir. He will? Good, splendid, excellent. 
We'll make the judges at Croft sit up, won't we, Kai Club? Uh, indeed we will, sir. What was that? What was what, sir? No, sir, you're wrong, sir. If you're thinking it's Lassie, sir, you're entirely wrong. No, sir, how could a poor dog come all the way from Scotland, sir? Just a minute, Colonel. Yes, sir. You can see that's just a poor tyke we picked up on the road, sir. You can see that's not the dog, sir. She has no breeding, no blood. No breeding and no blood, sir, you see? That'll do, Caraclough. Yes, sir. Priscilla. Yes, Grandfather. Priscilla, have you ever seen this dog before? No, Grandfather. Oh, neither have I. I thought for a minute, but I was mistaken. This is no dog of mine. Upon my soul and honor, this dog never belonged to me. Oh, come on, Tom, come along. He's got to be going. Oh, Karakoff. Yes, sir. That dog looks to me if she needs a lot of care. Yeah, she does that, sir. She'll get all the care she needs up at my kennels. Indeed she will, sir. Well, goodbye, Karakoff. I'm so glad you're going to be with me. Thank you, Your Grace. Goodbye, Mr. Kirkham. Goodbye, Grace. Come along, Joe. Come along, come along. Goodbye. Goodbye, child. Thank you, sir. Son, do you think he knew? Bless you. He knew. She's our Joe's lassie again. Uh, We'll soon have thee well again, Gad. She wants to meet Joe. But the poor thing's so weak. We shouldn't let her go, Sam. Eh? But she's walked hundreds of miles to see our lad. I'll not rob her of that now. Then wait. So he'll know. Eh? Hey. Off she goes. 